substitution method or replacement method. I have these many linear equations here. I have to solve them by substitution method. Now, what is substitution method? We will learn along with solving the questions. Substitution method or replacement method means substitute value for x or y from one equation to the second equation or from second equation to the first equation to get the solution for x and y. In easy terms, I will say I have x plus y as 14 this is my first equation. Now, this can be written as x is equal to 14 minus y. Same equation I can write for y, y is equal to 14 minus x. So from first equation I have value for x and value for y, x is equal to 14 minus y and y is equal to 14 minus x. Now, my equation number 2 is x minus y is equal to 4, that's my second equation. Now, in this equation I have x, value for x is 14 minus y, x is equal to 14 minus y, I'll replace 14 minus y for x minus y equal to 4 which is 14 minus 2y equals to 4. Same thing, in this equation itself, I can replace value for y for this value, 14 minus x, y is equal to 14 minus x. So x minus 14 minus x equals to 4. So x minus 14 plus x is equal to 4. 2x minus 14 equals to 4. So, from first equation, I have both the values, value for x, value for y. I can replace any one of the values in equation number 2. Here, I have replaced x with this and got 14 minus 2y equals to 4. Now, the benefit is from two variables, I have only one variable. I can solve this very easily. Same equation. In place of replacing x, I can replace y with this y is equal to 14 minus x. From two variables, I have only one variable which can easily be solved. Okay, here I have taken first equation to find out value of x and y and plot it into second equation. I can do the same thing with second equation and plot them into first equation. Second equation is x minus y equals to 4. So x would be 4 plus y or negative y is equal to 4 minus x. So y is equal to x minus 4. I have x value which is equal to 4 plus y. I have y value which is equal to x minus 4. This is my second equation. Okay. Let's take the first equation now x plus y equals to 4. I will do the same thing what I have done here. This x value can be replaced with this value. x is equal to 4 plus y. 4 plus y plus y equals to 14. 4 plus 2y equals to 14. Now, same thing. This y can be replaced with this value. y is equal to x minus 4. So, x stays as it is plus y is x minus 4, x minus 4 equals to 14. So 2x minus 4 equals to 14. You can see from two variables by substitution method, I have only one variable to solve, which I can easily solve and get the value of y. Here also from two variables, I have one variable which I can easily solve and get the value of x. So that's the way we use substitution method. We can take out value for x or for y from either first equation or from second equation. If I take out value of x and y from first equation, we put them into second equation. If I take out value of x and y from second equation, we put them into first equation. Do not take out value of x and y from first equation and try to put them back into first equation or if you take out from second e equation, do not try to put them back into second equation. That will not give you any solution. So that was in short about 
substitution method as we solve some questions our understanding would be better on this method now let's try to solve this question here x plus y is equal to 14 let's take out x from here so x is equal to 14 minus y I have x value equals to 14 minus y which I have found out from this equation now I will work on this equation here it says x minus y is equal to 4 I can replace this x with this value because x is equal to 14 minus y so I'll write 14 minus y minus y is equal to 4 14 minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 14 negative 2y is equal to negative 10 negative negative cancelled so y is equal to 10 over 2 which is 5 I have y equals to 5 now x minus y is equal to 4 this equation here where I have got y is equal to 5 x minus 5 is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 plus 5 x is equal to 9 so I have got x as 9 y as 5 in this equation here if I take 9 for x 5 for y 9 plus 5 14 in this equation here I take 9 for x 5 for y 9 minus 5 equals to 4 so solution for this equation is x is equal to 9 y is equal to 5 I have done this through substitution method or we can call it replacement method let's work on this let's take the easy equation s minus t equals to 3 so s would be 3 plus t now I'll use this equation s over 3 plus t over 2 is equal to 6 I have s equal to 3 plus t so this s replaced with this 3 plus t over 3 plus t over 2 equals 6 let's take the LCM so this will be 6 plus 2t plus 3t equal to 6 2t plus 3t will be 5t so 6 plus 5t over 6 is equal to 6 6 plus 5t would be 6 into 6 36 so 5t would be 36 minus 6 which is 30 so t would be 30 over 5 which is 6 so I have t as 6 let's put this t into this equation here s minus t equals to 3 so s minus t is 6 equal to 3 t is 6 here so s would be 3 plus 6 9 so I have s as 9 t as 6 that's the answer here this one here 3x will be equal to 3 plus y so x is equal to 3 plus y over 3 this time I have taken x value let's replace x in this equation this is 9 into x is 3 plus y over 3 minus 3y equals to 9 so this will be 9 plus 3y minus 3y equals to 9 cancel 9 is equal to 9 now this situation has come because this pair of linear equation will give us coincident lines if you look closely at this equation and this equation 3x minus y is equal to 3 and if you multiply this equation with 3 will give you 9x minus 3y equals to 9 9x minus 3y equals to 9 9x minus 3y is equal to 9 it means this equation and this equation both are same when they are same means a1 over a2 will be equal to b1 over b2 will be equal to c1 over c2 means this will give us coincident line means infinitely many solutions that's the answer for this question let's look into this 
let's try to cancel these decimal terms i'll multiply this equation by 10 this will be 0.2x into 10 will give me 2x this will be 3y and this will be 13 i can do the same with this this will be 4x plus 5y equals to 23 i can do this 2x is equal to 13 minus 3y so x is equal to 13 minus 3y over 2. so i have x value i'll replace this x with this value so 4 into 13 minus 3y over 2 plus 5y equals to 23 so this will be 26 minus 6y plus 5y equals to 23 so this will be 26 minus y equals to 23 so negative y would be 23 minus 26 so negative y is equal to negative 3 negative negative cancels so y is equal to 3 i have y is equal to 3 let's use any of the equations i'll use this one so 2x plus 3y y is 3 so 3 into 3 will be 9 equals to 13 so 2x would be 13 minus 9 gives you 4 so x will be 4 over 2 that is 2 so x is 2 and y is 3 that's the answer here this one here root 2x plus root 3y equals to 0 root 2x will be equal to 0 minus root 3y so x will be negative root 3y equal over root 2 let's try to rationalize this so this can be if i multiply root 3 over y over root 2 into root 2 over root 2 this gives me 3 into 2 root 6 root 6 over root 2 into root 2 will be 2 y negative this is already negative so now i have x is equal to root 6 over 2 y let's replace this value in this equation this is root 3 x minus root 8 y equals to 0 so root 3 into negative root 6 over 2 y minus root 8 can be root 8 can be root 2 into 2 into 2 these two will come out as 1 2 and this single 2 stays inside so root 8 can be 2 root 2 so i'll write 2 root 2 y equals to 0 so this will be root 3 into root 6 will be root 18 root 3 into root 6 will be root 18 which can be 3 into 3 into 2 root 3 into 3 comes out as 1 3 root 2 is inside so root 3 into root 6 will give you 3 root 2 and this 2 the bottom negative y minus 2 root 2 y equals to 0 this will be negative 3 root 2 y minus 4 root 2 y equals to 0 so this will be let's take negative root 2 as common so this will be 3 plus 4 so this will be negative 7 root 2 y equals to 0 2 into 0 is 0 so y is equal to 0 7 root 2 goes this side 0 over 7 root 2 negative is 0 so y is 0 let's replace this y into any of the expressions so root 2x plus root 3 y is 0 equals to 0 so root 2x plus 0 equals to 0 so root 2x equals to 0 so x is equal to 0 over root 2 which is 0 so x is 0 y will also be 0 that's the answer for this equation let's look into this one so this is 3 over 2x minus 5 over 3y plus negative 2 so 3 over 2x would be negative 2 plus 5 over 
y so x would be negative 2 plus y over 3 y into 2 over 3 so this is uh, negative 6 plus 5y into 2 over 3 this would be negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 so x is equal to negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 negative 6 multiplied with 2 gave you negative 12 5y with 2 gave you 10 y over 3 to 3 is 9 now replace now let's replace this value of x in this equation here so x over 3 means negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 over 3 plus y over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 into 1 over 3 plus y over 2 to 13 over 6 so this would be negative 12 plus 10 y over 27 plus y over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so this would be LC of 27 and 2 would be 54 so this would be negative 24 plus 20y plus 27y equals to 13 over 6 so this would be negative 24 plus 47y over 54 equals to 13 over 6 so negative 24 plus 47y into 6 equals to 13 into 54 so negative 24 plus 47y equals to 13 into 54 over 6 so this would be 47y equals to 13 into 9 117 plus 24 so 47y is equal to 141 117 plus 24 gives you 141 so y would be 141 over 47 which is 3 47 into 3 is 141 so y is equal to 3 okay let's put this y value in this equation here as 3 so x over 3 plus y is 3 so 3 over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so x over 3 equals to 13 over 6 minus 3 over 2 so this will be 13 minus 9 so x over 3 is equal to 4 over 6 so x is equal to 4 over 6 into 3 where x is equal to 2 so x is 2 and y is 3 x is 2 and y is 3 that's the answer for this equation here done